How's it going everyone? My name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group. Today's topic I want to discuss with you index annuity assistance. And I want to go through some of the pros and cons of an index annuity, why you know it may be beneficial for your specific situation, what are some of the other alternatives out there as opposed to the index annuity, and why I recommend them a lot to my clients. Um, especially if it, you know if the criteria fits within it, um, I definitely think that you could uh, you could leverage index annuities in the correct index annuity for your specific situation. Um, kind of index annuities, they're more of a newer type of product line. It was uh, it was first created in the 1990s, but they started coming out with uh, much much more innovative blends of the index annuity to make sure that an individual could be protected from downward market losses and still have safe consistency to their retirement accounts. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, right now, let's say if you were you know a traditional investor and let's say you're placing money into a 401k account, or you you know during your working years you just kept placing more and more money into a 401k account and essentially this 401k account or this old IRA account this IRA whatever it is whatever that's invested in let's say that's invested into some sort of mutual funds all the amount of money that you're placing within that retirement account plus however well the um, account performs equals how large of a bucket you're gonna have at the end of the day it's very very simple now there's a whole uh, misconception that the more money that you place into your retirement account, the more money that you should have at the end of the day, that it's guaranteed to make the bucket larger. And it's not necessarily true because it all kind of depends upon your fees and this percentage rate return that you get back. Now, rates of return. It's, it's, a, it's a tricky subject because a lot of people, you have wealth accumulation specialists, they try to say, oh, I, you know, I gain 10% average rate of return or, you know, your average rate of return is 5%. And this is incorporating the gains and the losses. And you have to understand something with retirement accounts, losses hurt far worse than gains could ever actually help you. And what do I mean by this? I'll show a quick example and then I get I'll get back onto the, the topic of the index annuity on why I really like the index annuity concept. If I was a, um, let's say I was a, um, a you know, wealth accumulation specialist, I'm, I'm going specifically off the gains, or I sat down with you and I said, okay, listen, this, uh, I'm going to show you this amazing account. This account in five years, the first year this account gained 50%, then it lost 50%, then it gained 50%, then it lost 50%, then it gained 50%. At the end of those five years, you would have had a gain of 50% in there, and every year, you would have averaged 10% rate of return, correct? With this sort of scenario, I would rather you take your money and throw it underneath a mattress and gain absolutely nothing, because if you were utilizing this sort of strategy and you this sort of returns like I stated before everything on paper shows you that this is an excellent excellent type of product this is an excellent rate of return correct but if you throw a little number at the start date what exactly happens to this money the first year it would have went up to $150,000 the next year would have went down to $75,000 the next year would have went up to 112500 then it would have went down to 56,250, then it would have went up to 84,375 into your account. So as I mentioned before, I would rather you take your money and throw it underneath a mattress because it would have avoided all those losses. What's happened in current economic times is we have volatility. It's insane. We have one one month you'll have the S&P 500 up 200 points, the next month it'll be down 400. And you have this constant constant volatility and you have people that are just they're completely terrified with what's going on with their retirement accounts because in the past whenever you listen to an advisor they'll tell you oh keep your money invested in the market keep your money invested in the market the reason why i constantly stress you could utilize indexing strategies and very safe planning for your retirement or retirement income you could leverage an index annuity and how the process works is because we eliminate your downward market losses and we eliminate the fees that you pay on an annual basis tremendously. Let me pull up the new screen and show you how this is done. With a, let's say a 401k account that was invested in mutual funds, let's say that mutual fund related fee is 1%, you have an advisor that's monitoring this account, they're going to charge you something known as a wrap fee, and that's 1%. 
you have a downward market loss of 10%, which is a very realistic, uh, you know, downward market loss. And in, in 2008, the average portfolio lost 57%. So let's just say you had a downward market loss and let's say your retirement age, so you decide to take 5% from that account. You would have taken out 5% and you would have lost 17% of value. By only taking 5%, you would have lost 17% of value. This is the general concepts of something known as reverse dollar cost averaging. You could review this, you could look this up, but essentially what's happening is you have a negative, a negative, a negative, and a negative, and it's all on a compound factor that reduces your account value further and further. Now, this is what a typical 401k account looks like or a typical IRA account looks like regarding mutual funds. If you understand that you're constantly trying to go and uh, trying to utilize, an, uh, you have an uphill battle every single year, this is why you cannot, re or why retirees cannot properly retire. With the index annuities, it's the same sort of concept as a fixed account. So with the fixed accounts, let's, let's think of like a, um, like a treasury bond or a bank CD or a fixed annuity. If you had a five-year bank CD and you were getting, and let's say it was paying you 2%, which is completely unheard of in today's times, let's say it was paying you 2%, first year you would have gained 2%, next 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 year you would have gained 2%. You would have had all that gain on that for five years, you would have gained a total of 10%. Simple interest on your money. There was no negatives to that sort of account. This used to be the way individuals were able in the 1980s and 1990s were able to leverage treasury bonds, fixed annuities, bank CDs because of that fixed aspect. Now, interest rates have hit all-time lows since early 2000s. Interest rates have been very, very low, thus resulting in a very hard way to utilize these fixed accounts for retirement income planning. Before you were able to take $100,000, purchase, let's say, 10% rate of return on a, or an 8% bank CD, a five-year bank CD that's paying you 8%, and you'd be able to live off the 8% every single year while your account's being preserved and protected. And you could utilize laddering strategies off of that fixed annuity or that bank CD type concept. Unfortunately, now you have a five-year bank CD that's paying you 1.5%. You're losing to the pace of inflation, the cost of goods that keep increasing on an annual basis. A rule of thumb is 3%. So with that concept, what exactly can we do to make sure that we're getting rid of any mutual fund related fees, we're getting rid of any sort of advisor fee, we're reducing that downward market losses, but still allowing you to have the upside potential to get double digit gains in a given year. And that is why I highly, highly recommend index annuities. Index annuities, understand that you have 300 different types of contracts out there, about 290 of them are complete garbage. So I'm not saying you just utilize any sort of index annuity, you have to become educated on which is the best route for you to go. So this is why I wanted to create this video is to give you assistance on index annuities, why this may be, why this may be ideal for your particular situation, and call our 1-800 number, 1-800-566-1002. If you understand the concept of an index annuity, and you do not know what sort of index annuity that you should choose, give us a call and we'll help you out. We're going to give you non-biased information regarding company A, B, C, D, E. We, we're Because we are an independent agency, we represent all the carriers out there in your particular area. So with an index annuity, if you like the concept, think about that same bucket, this IRA account or this 401k account that you essentially roll over into an annuity IRA. What it allows you to do is rather than get paid that fixed rate of return, that fixed 1%, 2% every year, they're going to give you credits into your account every time that your market index that you choose, and you only typically have about you know three maybe to six options to choose from, but whenever the market goes up, you have certain limits and you could participate in those upward market movements. So you could gain that double digit interest rate, you could gain that 10% in a given year if you um, if if the basically the market goes up, so if you have an upward market trend, the first year let's say you gain ten percent, and that that's based upon your spread rate or your cap rate, and you get exactly ten percent growth into your account, and then the next year the market index loses fifty percent, loses twenty percent, loses ten percent, you would gain zero percent, zero percent, 
zero percent. Then the next year, let's say it goes up twelve percent, you gain that twelve percent up to whatever that sort of cap rate or that spread rate is. Now understand something. Whenever we do your analysis, we incorporate the best spreads, the best cap rates to make sure that you could uh, you could leverage the smallest amount of dollars possible into one of these consistent growth strategies, making sure that we're eliminating the fees, all sorts of fees and the downward market losses at all times. Now, you might have heard the term hybrid annuity. And this is something that I really specialize in, is something I believe heavily in, is for the individual that wants to utilize their sort of retirement accounts for retirement income. If you have a 401k that's sitting there, an IRA that's sitting there, or just cash, that you understand that you have to pull this money at a later date and time, whether you're in your 60s, in your 70s, whatever that is, you could utilize something known as a hybrid annuity which is a fixed index annuity, the same concept of your money is either gaining whenever the market goes up or gaining 0% whenever the market goes down, but you have a secondary guarantee known as an income rider that you could execute at a later date and time for lifetime income. One of the largest misconceptions out there is annuitization. There's a, there's a very famous word, annuitize. And this is not what you should be doing. If you listen to, if you, if you research the best annuity income planners out there, they're all gonna correlate to everything that I'm telling you regarding you'd never want to annuitize your types of contracts. If you have a certain of lifetime income rider on your annuity, on your index annuity, hence making it a hybrid annuity, you want to utilize that income rider exactly how it's designed for. If they're giving you a certain contractual guarantee of let's say $50,000 that will come to you every single year to the day that you pass away, you are not annuitizing your money. When you annuitize your money, you surrender everything in your account value and now you're at the discretion of the company to pay you lifetime income and it's not going to be as high as that lifetime income amount through your income rider. So whenever we make our recommendations, we want to make sure that you have as much control on your end as possible. We represent all the companies. We're not going to be biased towards one company over the next. We're going to know which companies are the best for you, but we're going to utilize different types of softwares, different types of brokers, making sure that we are pinpoint accurate of the top three best possible scenarios for your specific situation. Situation. So once again, my name is Derek Afasi. I'm the owner of Afasi Financial Group. I absolutely love educating people. I love dealing with this on a daily basis and, and really helping you out, really helping you get from point A to point B successfully. You know, we are accredited with the Better Business Bureau. We've never had a complaint. Reason being is because we go through a very, very simple, methodical process, a very slow, methodical process, and we try to just educate you first and foremost. And based upon our recommendations, if you like exactly what you see and you like the advisor that you're dealing with, then obviously you could do business. If not, at least you could be going to be educated in the process. You know, we implemented 24-7 customer service, and um, so you give us a call at any time, depending upon however your schedule permits, and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll try to help you out best we can. Once again, 1-800-566-1002. I hope you found value in this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can have the most updated videos uh, at your fingertips and uh, give us a call with any questions. Thanks, guys.